and start the reassembly process. We're going to drop our barrel in, get our guide rod, and put a little coating on that. And you can see that the guide rod is actually flattened on one side so that it sits flat against the barrel inside the slide like that. spring and drop that in. And then we can leave it upside down. We can take our frame, drop it right into place, slide it together, line up the slide lock um, with the pin on the frame. And another thing is the uh, the slide locks for these pistols have a detent uh, that's spring-loaded in the back of it that you have to depress when installing it. So I just try and line it up and then press the pin, goes back together. Put a recoil bushing back in and you can put a little bit of grease or oil on the barrel bushing and there's a notch on the side of the barrel bushing that you have to line up with uh, the six o'clock position of the barrel so that it can go in and then you can spin it. So I'm going to do that. properly. Good to go. And that is the basic disassembly, cleaning, and reassembly of an AMT Automatic 5. So at this point, uh, I'll go ahead and wipe down the pistol with one of my rags that I had sitting out here. Trying to get as much residual grease or oil or anything else that's on it off. And then I would switch gloves and use your favorite lubricant, whether it's REM oil, brake free, whatever, uh, to go ahead and oil up the frame and slide and everything and then you're ready for storage or whatever. So I did promise that if you stuck around I would have uh, something else to show you. Looking at the pistol through the video you might not get an idea or a feel for how big this pistol actually is. So I'll go ahead and give you an idea by putting it next to a Glock 19. Uh, pretty much dwarfs it. So, like I said, this would be uh, the predecessor, or sorry, uh, I, the predecessor is the Automag 180 uh, chambered in uh, 44 AMP. And this would be the Automag the original. And again, the automatic five.
So if anybody has any questions, comments, or anything, uh, please feel free to leave them below. I'll try to answer them as uh, efficiently as possible. Uh, remember that your Second Amendment rights are always under attack. Any gun law is unconstitutional, so you have to fight for your rights. So other than that, like I said, if anybody has any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Other than that, have a good one. Thanks.